Well, I can, I can sit up better than the Do you know? These young Americans are sharing a great national experience. You will see them, hear them, and hear from them as they undergo this experience, as they meet the personal challenge presented to them. What they do, what they say, what they think, all this adds up to the story of Army basic training. You will come up here to the end of the counter. You receive one each bundle of clothes. Come up here, and I want to show you one each raincoat to you. You move up there, and I want to show you one each... You're at the reception station, your first clothing issue, the comfort issue, they call it. Enough to make you a soldier. Later, you'll get the full issue. Now the length of one small building, thin walls, a few moments of time separate you from outside. And the challenge awaiting you inside the army. You get those dog tags and put them on. And you get that good old army haircut. You're tested carefully to find your special talents, your, your own satisfaction in the service, career. and for your countries. You have directions. Part one, number reversal. Read the directions for part one, number reversal, to yourself while I read them aloud. There you go. Well, you're here, really arrived. You can loosen up a bit now. Food, food and company. Two good cure-alls for any doubts or miseries. And plenty of food and company. Take these stubs I give you, put them inside the socks you're now wearing, take a uniform off, put it in your duffel bag. and right, step down to the machine. Heels back. You're at the reception station just a short time and you're feeling good as it goes along. Shoes. Boots. I want you to pick up two pair of combat boots and put them in your bag. Shirts for every occasion, summer and winter. You haven't done much except sign your name and make work for the IBM machines. But here you are with the works. 85 pounds of it. Next man. Please move up the line. Take your bag with you. None of this really prepares you for what happens next when you join your company for basic training. Nothing could because from now on, this is how it is. Come on, move on out there. Let's go. Take off. Move on. Let's go. Hit it. Hit it. Take off. Run a double. Move out. Move out. Move out. It racks your back all right. Here's what one recruit said later when it was all over. And from the moment you got off, you were screamed at and yelled at and everything you can imagine. It, it's really scared us. When I give the command, stand at ease. I want all heads and eyes to turn towards me. Stand at. Now give me your close attention. I'm Sergeant Gossett, your first sergeant. This is your new home for the next eight weeks. Right now, you're civilians. When you leave here, you will be soldiers. Without further ado, I'm going to turn you over to your platoon sergeants. To spend the balance of the afternoon getting moved into the company. Headquarters company. First battle group. Headquarters company. First battle group. You are in the fourth platoon. Now, this is the best platoon in the company. Why is it? Because you're going to make it that way. The fourth platoon in headquarters company. Which is the best platoon in the company? Oh, you're sounding like a bunch of girls. Now, I want you to sound off because in the fourth platoon, we don't have nothing but men. Which is the best platoon in the company? OK. First squad leader, I want you to move the squad, pick up your duffel bag, Line up, moving into the building with all your gear, and follow Sergeant Cadillo into the building. Okay, first squad, do a right face. 
Go right around and pick up your bag. Right, you'll be the fleet man, Petuzarn. You've led him right in there. Some of the guys were literally shaking. I mean, they made us run up the stairs in those big duffel bags, and we'd never even walk hardly with two of them. You ran. <laughs> Either that or God knows what might happen to you, you know, the way you think. Then my name is Sergeant Jane. I'm going to be your platoon sergeant for your next eight weeks of training. Now, during this eight weeks, you're going to find that this is a, going to be the roughest eight weeks that you've ever spent in your life. Now, during this eight weeks, you're going to find out how to survive as an individual soldier and how to work with other men in this platoon as a team. Now, in order to complete this basic, you've got to be physically fit. Get your foot off that footlock. And in order to be physically fit, we're going to start right out with the first week of giving you physical training, physical training. By the end of eight weeks, you're going to be physically fit uh, to go into combat. You're going to be physically fit to survive in combat. And that is my job, to see that you are that way. Now, men, I'm Sergeant Ellington. This is the 5th Platoon. Now, I know that ever since you came in this army, everybody's been telling you what to do. Well, that's just the beginning, because you haven't heard nothing yet. It hasn't stopped here, and it never will. But I called you all together because I want to get an understanding. I want you to know me and what you can expect of me and what I will expect of all of you. You might find during this eight weeks that you're going to do a lot of things that is not pleasant to you. It is not meant to be pleasant to you. Combat is not going to be pleasant to you. And someday you men may have to face combat. And someday you're going to be in that situation where you're going to have to have this discipline. And when someone tells you to move, you've got to move or you're dead. Now, one thing I want you to get straight. I've only got one mission here. And it's not to become your dear friend. You left that when you left your home. My job is to make soldiers fighting men, a well-oiled fighting machine out of you civilians. Now, during the eight weeks also, you're going to find that you're going to have personal problems. I want you to bring these personal problems to me if you cannot solve them yourself. As I told you, I'll be working with you in this eight weeks, sometimes 24 hours a day. Don't let these problems get uh, overbearing on yourself. Don't try to take care of them yourself by going over the hill. If you have a problem, come to me. And we'll talk this thing over and see if we can't solve it. If I can't help you, I can send you other places. They have the chaplain, the Red Cross. They have the company commander, the battle group commander, the brigade commander, all the way up the chain of command. Any time, any time that a non-commissioned officer or an officer walks into this bay, then at ease or attention will be called. And at that time, everybody will be off of his his bunk and on his feet. But don't think that just because you are here and we're working down on you, that we're beating down on you, that we're riding your back, that we're giving you orders, we're shouting at you, we're telling you what to do, what not to do. Don't feel that you still don't have some privileges as a soldier. Because as long as you act as a soldier, we'll treat you as a soldier. Anytime you shine those boots, if I can look in your boots and see my face, then you've got a good pair of boots. And your boots aren't good unless they look better than mine. That's how I expect your boots. And I expect your general area around here the same way. Your bunk, when I flip a dime on it, it better, it better jump right back in my hand. Because that's what I'm looking for. When I open that foot locker or wall locker, I don't want to see anything out of place. Nothing. Everything has its own compartment. Every place in your foot locker. that first day in the company. One old timer said, that day was the longest month I spent in the army. It begins, first week, classroom work, yes. But this being the army, it really starts with drill, naturally.
Right. Now, hey. in working as a team, we're going to have this minor drill. Now, this dismounted drill is designed to instill a sense of teamwork and a sense of discipline within you by following a command at that instant that it is given. It also is a uniform method of moving you from one place to another. Now, we can't just get you out in here in the street and say, OK, move out the building 4550. That wouldn't work. We've got to get the whole company there. And in order to do it, we've got to move in a military manner. And this is in the company formation. You're both in the same army, believe it or not. There are just a few weeks difference between you and them. And right in here somewhere, you get that rifle. All right, now you just got these, these weapons. And this is the best friend that you'll ever have. <laughs> if you take care of it, it will take care of you. That means that you'll take better care of this weapon than you will anything else that you own. It's designed for one purpose, to kill. This is the business end, right here. This is the butt. Don't get those two mixed up. You put this against your shoulder, this goes towards the enemy. This weapon, actually, you'll learn more about in other classes where we have detailed instruction. One thing I want you to keep in mind is this is your friend. Treat it that way, and it'll take care of you. What? Huh? It may be your friend, but for a while during that first week, it's like a sick friend. You lug it, tug it, throw it around. It weighs about eight pounds the first hour. Then it seems to put on weight. Sometimes it also has a sharp blade on the end. The first week, at the end your feet hurt. You start to think again. That hurts, too. You're frightened when you come here. It's something only you miss home a lot. Well, just the different people around you being told what to do and when to do it and how to do it all the time. <laughs> but bang, the second week, you're out on the range with the rifle. 25 meter train to fire committee, range number three. This morning you will be brought out here to learn how to fire the M14 rifle. Now, in order to remove any fear and to show you the need for additional training, we will now move you out in the firing line. We will fire three rounds from the prone, unsupported position. Okay, 42, 42. On. you're shooting low. Is anyone afraid to fire the rifle? you'd be surprised how much company you have. But the new Army Train Fire program puts you right on the firing line without a lot of preliminary do's and don'ts to beat that fear and turn it into pride and skill. Is he ever going to squeeze that trigger? Lock and clear all weapons. Fires clear your own weapons. Only now does the recruit go back to the mechanic of the weapon, but then he almost lives on the rifle range. Starting this morning, you will start firing at silhouette pop-up type targets. These targets have the added feature of being killable. When hit, they automatically fall. This adds realism to your training 
and gives you immediate evidence as to whether each shot has been fired with the necessary accuracy. Discourage. This is learning to shoot in the tradition of the American frontier soldier, the kind who won battles from Yorktown to Inchon. Here's what one soldier said. I think the thing that, the thing that means most to the trainee when they get in basic is the uh, qualification in the rifle. Uh, it's both physical and mental. Uh, you try your hardest to become as good a shot as you can, but it's, it's a, a thing you try and work for individually and also the physical marches to the ranges. That's the first uh, exposure you have of, of the strenuous exercise they have here, the marches out there. They start about two miles and they end up about uh, five. Firing line is ready. Move out. Take your time, don't rush out. The ranges grow longer. The targets advance on you. They retreat. They're always surprising you popping up at different distances. Get to your feet quickly. And you learn to advance on them. This is all leading up to a big day. As one recruit recalled, your happiest day is the a big day you go out to the qualification ranges and there you're biting your fingernails and you're hoping this and hoping that. And just do your best and then you get it, then you are qualified to wear a certain badge. Man the foxhole. Pick up your weapons, face down range, and take up a good firing position. This afternoon, you're firing record two. You have five seconds for your near targets, 10 seconds for your far target. You move from foxhole to foxhole, a few shots from each one at targets that come and go, surprising you. <coughs> then you're out in the open, advancing, finding, and firing at those targets before they disappear. It's tough, all right. Then, it's over. Well, I hit every one of them, but the last one, it was up. It was a 350 meter. And he said, shoot that one. I said, which one? You know, I said, that one down. He said, that one out there on 350 meters. And I looked out there for the rest of the time, and I couldn't see that. Then, four weeks of basic training are suddenly over. Four busy weeks have passed. You really feel like singing. no longer seem to float by in a blur. In the company day room, you're surrounded by friends, guys you'll never forget. The platoon, your platoon. You're in the swing of things. You're living, living outdoors in bivouac, out in the open, up with the sun. <laughs> Because I've gained 18 pounds since I've been here. It's eight weeks. Boy, that's a lot of weight. <laughs> I haven't weighed that much since I left home two years ago. And this is breakfast. You never you know, you eat like horses around this place. But you're doing something else this year. Remember that first day of marching? Several years ago, it seems. Your shadow's tall now, and you're that way too. You've met the challenge more than halfway, but you still have a lot to learn. Hold pin, rock back, throw, down. You learn that the squad is the basic unit the basic building block of the army, any army, just a handful of men like you. However, before we go any farther, 
We must ascertain the mission of the rifle squad in the attack. The mission of the rifle squad in the attack is to close with the enemy by means of fire and maneuver in order to capture or destroy him. Hit the dirt! Your position! Alpha team pins down the enemy, fixes them in position, keeps them in their foxhole by their fires. Number 8, 10, let's go! Move out, let's go. While Bravo team, under cover of this fire, maneuvers around, unseen by the enemy, to get a good crack at him. Trainee leaders chosen on ability give the orders. The Army looks for leaders for NCO academies and officer candidate school. Prepare to throw! Throw! Hit it! Heretofore in your basic training, you have learned how to operate as an individual. Today you found out how important it was for a rifle squad to operate as a team. The success of the rifle squad depends upon teamwork. You've been hearing about this one since you got here, the infiltration course. Now I want to know, are you ready to call a course? Yeah. Oh, come on, are you ready to call a course? Yeah. scares you the most. They have live machine gun fire over your head. It's about uh, four feet over your head. And you have to crawl under barbed wire, through barbed wire sometime, and over logs. And it's the first time, of course, anybody's ever shot at you. And it's true. It, uh, if you stand up, it, it will hit you by the chest. It's a lot of fun. You look back at it now, I enjoyed it. You have to you start going. You don't think about those bullets going over your heads. I don't think. The only thing that bothers me is hitting my knees rubbed up against the ground. That's all. Uh, it's not doing bullets. It seems a little oh, noisy hell. out there. <laughs> I don't know if you always feel it. bothering me. It's just uh, damn crawling all the time. Jesus. Thanks, Herman. I wish harder. Herman, I'll see you next time while I quit smoking. <laughs> yeah, Charlie Hill presents you. That's why I said Knees are a little bruised. Then. It's almost over. The close combat course is almost like real war, they say. A hill in Italy, in France, in Korea, like the one your father crossed. Using real ammunition, this couldn't be too much more real. It really is over. Both the memory and the challenge are behind you. You can hardly believe it. 
They're ready now to take the special training or go to the place they chose when they took up the challenge and enlisted, a choice guaranteed by the Army. Only graduation left. Men of Kennedy B, I'm most pleased to be with you today, the day which I know you've all looked forward to for some time, the day in which you graduate from basic combat training. You came to us some eight, eight and a half weeks ago, unsure, afraid, certainly unsettled in your minds. You've grown up. Those of you who were boys when you arrived are now men. And all of you are soldiers in fact, as well as in name. You'll be leaving us now, going to new posts, new stations, new jobs, new assignments. Many of you, I trust, will stay in the service. I can assure you that you'll find it rewarding a rich experience and challenging. You are the leaders of tomorrow, whether you stay in the military or return to civilian life. America today is great, she's strong. What she is tomorrow depends entirely upon you. This is a responsibility that you cannot duck. It is yours, whether you desire it or not. You have the intelligence, the brains, and in some cases, the skills. All you need is the will to keep America strong forever. Gentlemen, we're sorry to see you go. But wherever you go, good luck and Godspeed.